Warren Buffett once famously remarked, our favorite holding period is forever. True to his word, one of the oldest stocks in Buffett's portfolio is Coca-Cola, which he first purchased in 1988 for $2.45 per share and continues to hold today, which is now worth $58.08 per share, a 2,270.61% gain on investment. In terms of dollars, he had invested $1 billion, which is now worth $22.7 billion. That took some years, but what if you could almost double your investment in just one year? It might sound too good to be true, but that's the beauty of Fidelity Index Funds, and some have consistently outperformed the S&P 500. In this video, we'll explain what these index funds are, how they work, and why they matter. We'll show you the top six Fidelity Index Funds, and in the end, we'll show you a fund that can almost double your investment in one year. Before seeing the top six Fidelity Index Funds, we first have to know what these are, how they work, and why to choose them. Fidelity Index Funds are investment funds that aim to match the performance of a specific market index, like the S&P 500. They work by pooling money from many investors to buy a diverse set of stocks or bonds in line with the chosen index. This simple strategy offers broad market exposure without active management. Why choose them? They're easy, cost-effective, and great for long-term investors. Most people aren't as good at picking stocks, so instead of just one stock, they can use these index funds to invest in all. Getting started as an investor can be overwhelming. After all, there are more than 7,000 mutual funds to choose from. So sometimes it helps to start simply by looking at one or two fund families that have built a reputation for quality. To us, that includes looking at Fidelity, and more specifically, Fidelity index funds that can serve as the building blocks of a starter portfolio. This brings us to the top six Fidelity Index funds to buy and hold forever, arranged from modest to highest year-to-date returns. Starting at number six, we have Fidelity 500 Index Fund. Known by the ticker symbol FXAIX, this index fund has been the golden standard for all indices funds, and the bar set by this fund for the year-to-date yield is 20.64%. This means if John had invested $10,000 at the start of this year, his investment by the end of the year would be worth $12,064. That's a $2,064 value increase in just one year. In the case of a $50,000 investment, John can earn a gain of $10,320. And with a $100,000 investment, his investment would be valued at $120,640, a $20,640 increase in just one year. This fund primarily invests in U.S. stocks, with about 99.02% of its holdings in this category. It focuses on sectors like technology, finance, and retail trade. To make it even better, this fund is a popular choice for retirement savings, available in many 401k plans. Plus, it's cost-effective, with a low expense ratio of just 0.015%. This fund has a history of strong performance, averaging a 12.64% return over the past 10 years. When it comes to risk, FXAIX has a 5-year beta of 1, which means it tends to move with the market's ups and downs. It also has a positive alpha of 0.02 over the past 5 years, which means that it has outperformed its benchmark, the S&P 500, by 2% consistently. Next, we have Fidelity Growth Discovery Fund. Known by the ticker symbol FDSVX, this index has been doing really well this year with a return of 27.46%. It's ranked as a buy with a Zacks Mutual Fund rank of 2 based on factors like size, cost, and past performance. Based on a year-to-date return of 27.46%, this fund will grow John's $10,000 from the start of the year to $12,746. That's a $2,746 gain in just one year. With $50,000, that gain would be $13,730. And with $100,000, the investment after one year will be valued at $127,560 for a $27,560 profit in one single year. 
FDSVX mainly invests in U.S. stocks, with around 95.71% of its holdings in this category. Its top sectors include technology and finance. In terms of performance, FDSVX has done quite impressively. It has a five-year annualized return of 12.02%, ranking in the top third among similar funds. Even in the shorter three-year time frame, it's still in the top third with a return of 12.9%. When we talk about risk, it's important to look at the fund's standard deviation, which measures how much its returns fluctuate. FDSVX has been a bit more volatile than its peers in the past three to five years. This fund has a five-year beta of 1.01, which means it's likely to be as volatile as the overall market. On the positive side, it has a positive alpha of 2.15 over the past five years, indicating that the fund managers have been skilled in picking securities that perform better than the benchmark, the S&P 500. Next, at number four, we have Fidelity NASDAQ Composite Index Fund. Known by the ticker symbol FNCMX, this fund has shown remarkable performance year-to-date returns of 37.74%. This means John's $10,000 investment at the start of the year would now be worth $13,774. In other words, a $3,774 profit in a single year. For $50,000, that profit would be $18,870. And in the case of $100,000, his investment will be worth $137,740, or a profit value of $37,740 in just one year. This fund has been able to achieve its high growth rate because it mimics the NASDAQ's performance, which includes thousands of stocks. It holds a good portion of them, around 2,065, most of these companies are in the tech world. The top 10 holdings, including giants like Apple, Amazon, and Microsoft, make up more than 33% of the portfolio. While it has a five-year beta of 1.11, indicating it may be more volatile, it has a positive alpha of 0.28 over the past five years, meaning it has outperformed the market on a regular basis. Its turnover is around 4%, meaning it doesn't make as many trades as other comparable funds. This shows the fund has been in profitable positions and is highly managed. Next on the list is Fidelity Blue Chip Growth Fund. Known by the ticker symbol FBGRX, this Fidelity Index Fund has had an outstanding year so far, with a year-to-date return of 46.38%. With that year-to-date return, John's $10,000 start-of-the-year investment will now be worth $14,638, or a $4,638 profit in one year. With $50,000, he would earn a profit of $23,190, and his $100,000 investment will be worth $146,380, or a profit of $46,380 in just one year. This fund is doing so well because it aims to find big growth potential among well-established blue-chip companies in the S&P 500 and Dow Jones Industrial Average, meaning they're some of the biggest players in the market. These companies typically have market capitalizations of at least $1 billion. FBGRX focuses on those that show the most potential for above-average growth which is why it's heavily invested in technology, about 38%, and consumer discretionary, about 22%. In its top 10 holdings, it has big names like Apple, Alphabet, Google's parent company, and Amazon. To top it off, with a five-year average annual return of 16.3%, it is positioned in the top tier among its peers. Now we move on to funds that have exponential growth. In the end, there's a fund that has the potential to double your investment in a single year. But back to the list. At number two, we have Fidelity Select Technology Portfolio. Known by the ticker symbol FSPTX, this fund has been on fire this year, with an impressive year-to-date return of 53.83%. This fund offers a broader scope than some tech funds, including software and industries like semiconductors, hardware, and fintech. It chooses stocks based on their potential to benefit from technological advancements, hence the 53.8% year-to-date return. 
Based on this, John's $10,000 investment at the start of the year would now be worth $15,383, or a profit of $5,383. If he invested $50,000, that profit figure would be around $26,915. And in the case of $100,000, the investment by the end of the year would be valued at $153,830, or a profit of $53,830 in a single year. Performance-wise, FSPTX shines, with a five-year annualized return of 18.27%, ranking it in the top tier among its peers. The top holdings in FSPTX are household names like Microsoft and Apple, known for their strong financial positions and high demand. Apple and Microsoft hold the top spots with 18.2% and 16.4% allocations respectively. NVIDIA takes third place at 11.7% due to its AI-related growth. While it's not immune to market fluctuations, FSPTX is comparably less volatile, as indicated by its standard deviation. It has a 5-year beta of 1.18, suggesting some volatility, but its positive alpha of 4.5 shows that it has consistently outperformed the broader market by a wide margin. Next, and on the top of our list, the one that outperformed them all is Fidelity Select Semiconductors Portfolio. Known by the ticker symbol FSELX, this index fund has been a star performer this year, boasting a year-to-date return of 75.22%. Before showing what this return equals in dollar values, let's see why this fund has performed so well recently. FSELX's impressive returns stem from its focus on the booming semiconductor industry, driven by increased demand for AI, big data, cloud computing, and robotics. It's no wonder that FSELX's top picks feature heavy hitters like NVIDIA, Taiwan Semiconductor, Broadcom, and On Semiconductor. They've been consistently outperforming their benchmark, the MSCI US IMI Semiconductors and Semiconductor Equipment 2550 Index. In fact, it is a strong contender, with a Zacks Mutual Fund rank of 1, strong buy. This fund provides diversification within the tech sector, encompassing various industries like semiconductors, software, internet, and networking. The fund stands out, scoring a five-year annualized return of 32.48%, putting it in the top tier. However, with a five-year beta of 1.23, it might ride the market's ups and downs more frequently. Still, a positive alpha of 10.8 shows it's been completely outperforming the broader market. So how much would John's investment be worth if he invested in this index fund at the start of the year? Considering the year-to-date return of 75.22%, if John invested $10,000 at the start of the year, his investment would be valued at $17,522, or a profit of $7,533 in just one year. With a $50,000 investment, that profit would have been $37,610. And in the case of a $100,000 investment, John's investment after one year will be worth $175,220 or a profit of $75,220. That's a $6,268 profit every single month. In this video, we covered the top six Fidelity Index funds that have consistently outperformed the market. If you prefer dividend-paying stocks, check out how to build a monster dividend portfolio for strategies to earn over $20,000 monthly.